on their ship, right? They was probing me and all that. We had taco salad that night. Don't matter what we had for dinner, woman. Now this alien had a big head and big black eyes, and it was all bent over me. I said, what do you want from me, alien? And do you know what he said? Tree fitted. Uh, let me tell the damn story now. He said tree fitted. And so I realized that it wasn't no alien. It was that goddamn Loch Ness monster again trying to trick me into giving him tree fitted by dressing up like an alien. Don't that just beat off? I just gave him tree fitted a week before. What? You gave that monster another damn tree fitted? He tricked me. Well, no wonder the damn monster keeps coming back to our house. You keep giving it tree fitted. That was the third time we saw the Loch Ness Monster. Then one time, I believe it was July... August. August. There's a knock on the door. I open it, and there's this cute little girl scout. Uh, she was so adorable with the little pigtails and all. And she says to me, how would you like to buy some cookies? And I said, well, what kind do you have? She had Thin Mints, Graham Crunchy Seeds... Raisin Oatmeal. Raisin Oatmeal. And I said, we'll take a Graham Crunch. How much would that be? And she looks at me and she says, I need about tree fitty. Tree fitty. Well, it was about that time that I noticed this Girl Scout was about eight stories tall and was a crustacean from the Pletodoa The Loch Ness Monster. I said, damn it, monster, get off my lawn. I ain't giving you no tree fitty. It said, how about just two fitty? I said, oh, now it's only two fitty. What is that, sale on Loch Ness munchies or something? Lord, he was angry. The time right I was angry. Not you, the monster. He was about to kick your ass. Now, uh, shut your mouth, woman. I it was just a three-year-old little man. He came running up to me with a big smile and his little chef's hat on, and he said, Papa, Papa. I said, What do you need, chef, my boy? And he said, I need about three fifty. Three fifty? Well, it was about that time I got suspicious. I said, Chef, why do you need three fifty? He said, My imaginary friend Goo Goo the dinosaur wants it. I went to my son's room. And sure enough, there was the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, it was scary. I said, damn it, monster, you stop bugging my children now. We work for our money in this house, and we don't give money away. Oh, must have been about seven, eight years ago. Me and the little lady was out on this boat, you see, all alone at night. When all of a sudden, this huge creature, this giant crustacean from the pale little lithic girl, comes out of the water. We were so scared, Lord, I mother, I jumped up in the boat at that time. What on earth is that creature? It stood above it, looking down with these big red eyes. Oh, it was so scary. And I yelled, I said, what do you want from us, monster? And the monster bent down and said, I need about three fifty. What's three fifty? Three dollars and fifty cents. Three fifty? He wanted money? That's right. I said, I ain't giving you no tree fitty, you goddamn Loch Ness monster. Get your own goddamn money. I gave him a dollar. She gives him a dollar. I thought he'd go away if I gave him a dollar. Well, of course he's not gonna go away, Nelly. You give him a dollar, he's gonna assume you got more. 